This is QCC alum David Russell, Queensboro Community College getting ready to take on Ulster County Community College. Ulster has not won a game in region this year. Queensboro has not won a game at home this year, so something has to give today. The Queensboro starters are Joseph Turner, Orlenz Metellus, Dwayne Bridey, Justin Cotto, and Henry Birch. Queensboro coming off a 15 point loss at Rockland. They gave up 100 points for the fourth time this season. They have won three of the last five. Ulster is one in 15 overall. It'll be Henry Birch jumping for Queensboro. Williams jumping for Ulster and the Senators win the tip. Senators in the blue jerseys. Queensboro in the white. Deontay Moore with the ball. Now Jeff McQueen. There's Mike Ryan being guarded by Henry Birch. McQueen for three. And it's long, and Birch flies in for the rebound. Turner, nice pass, and the three-pointer the other way is good. It's Dwayne Brighty who then bumps into the referee. Three-nothing, Queensboro. Ulster looking for their first points of the game. Down low, it's out of bounds, it stays with Ulster. Shot clock should not have reset. And now they put it to 20. Pass Mike Ryan. Queensboro beat Ulster by seven points earlier this year. Last time the Senators came into Queensboro, the Tigers won by 31 and a steal by Birch. And Birch is fouled by McQueen. First foul of the game, it's against Jeff McQueen. Posting up, Metellus off glass, no good, and rebounded by Sturdivant. Last time, Queens, last time the Senators came into Queensboro, they lost by 31. Ulster better than they were last year, although still struggling. I'd be surprised if they got blown out like that again. There's Williams being guarded by Birch. Lost it and then got it back. Overthrown and here's Bridey. And Bridey lays it in. 5-0 Queensboro, timeout Ulster. So it's Dwayne Bridey 5, Senator 0. And Robert Meslowski calls timeout. Meslowski, the Senators coach, played at SUNY Orange in the early 80s. It's a full timeout, not liking the way the game began.
Ulster two years ago actually won 10 games, were regional semifinalists. And then last year really struggled. This year they're 1-15, but they have had some close games. They lost to Duchess by 1, BMCC by 6, Rockland by 6, Queensboro by 7, and Bronx by 11. By the way, as a regional update, Hostos is actually ranked number three nationally right now. And funny enough, they're number three in the region. Although the two teams that have them in the region aren't one and two nationally. Holster still looking for their first points. Deontay Moore. Queensboro's defense has come out strong, especially Henry Birch. Here's Birch. Right up on Moore, and Moore takes a long three, and it's short. And Turner has it for Queensboro, and takes a three, and it's short. Rebounded by Jeroy Williams. Defense chance starts from the Queensboro bench. Here's Mike Ryan, nice bounce pass. Williams inside, no good off glass. Tip, Sturdivant got it back. He couldn't put it in, Sturdivant again and Ulster will have it back. Good interior defense by Queensboro. McQueen will inbound. Metellus broke up the pass intended for Sturdivant. Here's Moore as Birch fell down. Ryan, baseline jumper is good. And the Senators are on the board. 5-2 Queensboro. It's Joseph Turner to Bridey. Metellus. Turner being guarded by Sturdivant down to 20 on the shot clock. Turner doing a lot of dribbling down to 10. Nine, here's Bridey. Bridey inside. Shot is good. Shooters touch for Bridie. He has all seven points for Queensboro. The Tigers lead 7-2. Some pass from McQueen. Nice pass inside and Williams finishes. Joy Williams makes it 7-4. Turner calls out the play. There's Cotto. Gives it back to Turner. Thought about the long jumper. And Turner is fouled. You see if they say in the act of shooting. First foul on Deontay Moore and Turner will go to the line for two. Second team foul against the Senators. First one is good. 8-4 Queensboro. First Tiger point not scored by Bridey. Turner long on the second and rebounded by Sturdivant. Tigers lead 8-4, 16-15 to go in the first half. Here's McQueen. As to Ryan, Ryan to Moore, and Moore misses a three. Turner with it for Queensboro. Bridie takes a three, and that's off. And Cotto with the long rebound. Birch to Bridie. Metellus. Still 22 on the shot clock. Cotto a long two. No good. And rebounded by Sturdivant. We're trying to get it in the post. Here's Ryan. There's Moore right in front of the Queensboro bench, and it's good, and it's 8 7. Deontay Moore from downtown. Queensboro's lead is 1.
Turner being guarded by McQueen. Here's Cotto, guarded by Williams. Turner, 15 on the shot clock. Cotto, don't know if that was a shot or a pass, but Metellus is fouled underneath. I think it was a shot. Fortuitously went to Metellus and he was fouled underneath. Second foul on Deontay Moore. Third team foul against the Senators as Metellus makes the first. 9-7 as Chris Brown goes in for Cotto. Metellus makes both, it's 10-7 Queensboro. Here's Kaylid Alexander who just checked into the game. McQueen. Third event wasn't expecting the pass. It's tipped, loose ball, Birch gets it to Turner. Nice hustle by Birch. And Turner puts it in. Nice shot by Turner who makes it 12-7. Turner, one of the top scorers in the region so far. Averaging a little over 18 points per game. It's Alexander. Pass to Ryan. Here's Alexander, a long three. He's almost out of bounds. And Bridey with the long rebound. Birch. Birch, tough angle, missed. Metellus, the rebound, loose ball. And McQueen comes out with it for the Senators. Alexander going inside. And the foul is called against Queensboro. First foul on Metellus. First foul against Queensboro. Alexander inside. Missed the shot and rebounded by Birch. And Birch going coast to coast. And a charge is called. First foul on Henry Birch. Returning after a year layoff. Last played for Larry Dantzler. And then was out for the Robert Holford year. Now back under Carla Menjo. Pass inside, third event. And Sturdivant is called for traveling, wave the basket off. Sturdivant may have been surprised that there was no Tiger in front of him. Now Sanjay Carter, who just came into the game, has the ball, crossing half court. Metellus. Nice fake, and he puts it in. Got Sturdivant to leave his feet. Queensboro leads 14-7. And another travel is called against the Senators. Good defense by the Tigers early on. They have the ball up by seven. Here's Metellus. Nice spin move inside. Couldn't finish though, and Alexander has it. And Carter. Did a nice job to almost steal it. As Evan Ducker goes in for the Senators, Sturdivant goes to the bench. Well, 
That's a long two and it's good. Brody Maloney with a nice shot, it's 14-9. Four different Senators have scored now. There's a nice inbounds play as well by the Senators, just a catch and shoot from Maloney. And a foul is called against Ulster. That'll be the team's fourth. First foul on Alfonso Knox. First is good, it's 15-9. Metellus is short on the second. Senators ball down by six. 12 minutes to go in the first half. Nice defense by Carter. That pass was tipped out of bounds by Bridey, so it'll stay with the Senators. 21 on the shot clock. McQueen gets it into Alexander. Pass for Knox was almost broken up, and then Carter takes it away. Or Turner takes it away, excuse me. Couldn't finish and got his own rebound. There's Bridey. Carter. Nice moves by Carter, but he couldn't finish. But Queensboro will keep it with 11.30 to go. But that was a nice play by Carter. A lot of guys would have settled for that three. Just have a shot from 20 feet away. He got a pretty good look. Just couldn't finish. And here's Turner going inside. And then the kick out and the three pointer is no good. Brown the rebound. And the put-in is no good. And Knox with the rebound. It's been the big eye for the Senators. Knox averaging almost 11 rebounds per game. Queensboro had a few good chances to score there. Couldn't do it. It's a pass, Knox. Turnaround shot is good, and it's 15-11. Knox has his first points of the game. Five Senators have scored the 11 points for them. Carter, guarded by McQueen. Here's Bridie, a catch and shoot, and it's no good. Metellus the rebound and the putback. Metellus makes it 17-11. Metellus and Bridie both have seven points to lead the way for Queensboro. And nice defense by Carter. Took it right away from McQueen and couldn't lay it in. Missed a layup and the Senators dodge a bullet there. Queensboro still up by six. Alexander, tough shot is no good, but he almost got his own rebound and Knox put it on the floor. Alexander was clapping for it. Wave off the basket. It's a three second violation against the Senators. So wave off the basket. QCC lead 17 11, 9.51 to go. Turner directing traffic. There's Brown out to Turner. Bridey. Pass was broken up by Alexander, but then he stepped on the line, so Queensboro will keep it. Still 20 on the shot clock. Alexander never had possession, so the shot clock will not reset. There's Brown, doubled, and then gives it up to Turner, to Bridey. Carter, nice pass down low. Metellus puts it in off glass. Really nice ball movement, it's 19-11. Metellus with nine early points. Here's Maloney. Alfonso Knox being guarded by Brown. Down low, nice pass to Williams. 
and Williams makes it 19-13. Williams had very good positioning down there for the pass. Queensboro by six. Carter to Brown. Back out, Carter for three. And it's no good, rebounded by Knox. Sanders doing a nice job hanging around early. Spraying the ball around. And a foul against Queensboro. The first foul on Sanjay Carter. Team's third. And a nice shot off glass by Maloney. And it's now 19-15. And both of Maloney's shots have been right off inbounds. Just two catch and shoot. Here's Brown underneath. Didn't have the angle, but Metellus outside. Stressa, no good. So under eight minutes to go in the first. Queensboro leads 19-15. McQueen, double teamed, somehow got to Knox but he couldn't hit. And now Turner, a long pass for Brown. And Brown is fouled. Maybe been Williams who maybe got a fingertip on it, still got to Brown. Nice job of finding a lane by Brown. And that's the second foul on Knox. Brown has his first point of the game, it's 2015. And Knox goes to the bench with two fouls. Brown makes both, it's 21-15. Those were two pretty quick fouls on Knox because he didn't even start. And he'll probably sit out the rest of the first half with the two fouls. Nice job of stripping it away. And Alexander got a hand in. His Turner was trying to start a fast break. Queensboro will have it with 32 on the shot clock. Carter to Turner. Play being called out. Turner looking at the zone and then takes a three and it's short. Rebounded by Williams. That was a long shot and it was short. Here's Moore. That's a tough shot and it's an air ball and here's Turner. And Carter got ahead of the pack and a block from behind. Tremendous play and then a reach and foul against Carter. Great defensive play and then Carter just called for the reach and that's his second. So Carter is on the bench with the second foul. Queensboro leads 21-15. 6.37 and counting to go in the first half. Maloney's pass was a little too far ahead for Sturdivant. Turner bounced past Metellus. Back outside, Stressa to Turner. Inside and the shot was blocked. Or may have lost it on the way up. So Deontay Moore with Turner right up on him. Too much up on him. Foul is on Turner. That'll be his first. 
little too aggressive. Five fouls on each team now. 6.06 to go in the first half. Underneath, here's Sturdivant, who muscles in. Sturdivant's first points of the game, it's 21-17. Holster's had success off of inbounds plays. And Stresta launches a three and it's no good. And that's tipped in. Don't know if that was Brown or Metellus. It's 23-17. Queensboro up six, five and a half to go in the first. There's Ryan. Good defense, they're down to 14. Deontay Moore. There's a baseline shot. No good. Mike Ryan had a decent look but couldn't hit. Nice swing pass, here's Bridey. Was off the side of the board. Under five minutes to go in the first. Start event, long pass. Here's Maloney. Got Turner to leave his feet. Goes inside. And a charge is called. Foul is on Maloney, 4.45 to go. Queensboro up 23-17. There's Brown being guarded by Williams. Nice pass to Bridie, and Bridie finishes. It's 25-17. Nine points for Bridie now. Here's Ryan to Maloney. Moore, Turner on him. Nice pass to Maloney, who puts it in off glass. Maloney with six points, but a really nice pass by Deontay Moore. 25-19. Four minutes to go in the first. See if Queensboro can separate themselves a bit in the last four minutes. Long shot is no good. Here's Ryan, bounce pass. Williams, outside to Maloney. There's Moore. It's past Dirtevant inside and he's fouled. And it'll be on Turner, his second. See if Turner goes to the bench. <laughs> Sturt advantage short on the first and Bittman Stressley goes in for Turner. Sturdivant misses both. Rebounded by Williams who couldn't put it in. So break for Queensboro as they missed the rebound, but Williams couldn't make them pay. Stressa going inside. Floater off glass, no good. Birch got a hand in. Loose ball. Last touch by Birch. Three seventeen to go in the first. And Birch was forcing the issue a bit, but backs off. 3.05 to go in the first. Here's Maloney, guarded by Bridey. Good ball denial by Slesta. They were trying to get it to Ryan. Here's Knox in the lane, and it's good. Nice moves by Knox, it's now 25-21. Queensboro, see if they try to go inside. Knox has two fouls. They give it to Brown and he attacks. 
Could really get Knox in trouble here. Birch going inside. And a nice shot by Henry Birch. Birch is in the scoring column. It's now 27-21. 2.25 to go in the first. And a three-pointer by Moore, and it's off. And Cotto pulled it down for Queensboro. Stresta inside the floater, a little too strong. And hauled in by Knox. And timeout called by Ulster. With 2.06 remaining in the first half, Queensboro leads 27-21. Just a 30 second timeout. You remember last year's game when Queensboro beat Ulster here by 31. It was pretty close at the half. Then Queensboro pulled away in the second. Holster trying to cut into the six point Tiger lead before halftime. Pretty quick moving first half. Not a lot of timeouts, not a lot of fouls. Just six on each team. And now some half court pressure by Queensboro. Found by Coach Amenjo after the timeout. And Burge. Try to get in, Ryan for three, it's no good. Bridie chases down the rebound. 100 seconds to go in the first half. Stresta. Here's Birch to Metellus in the corner. Stresta to Birch. Working it on the perimeter, Bridie along three, it's too short. Birch the rebound and his shot is good. Henry Birch makes it 29-21. That hurts Ulster, you play good defense. You get Queensboro to take a long three and they miss and then you can't pull down the rebound and Queensboro hits a jumper. One minute to go in the first half. Maloney had it stripped by Bridey, loose ball. Maloney picks it up. Here's Ryan to Moore. See if Ulster notices they're down to 12 on the shot clock. Knox, nice shot by Knox. Now has six points, it's 29-23. About a five second difference between the game clock and the shot clock, see if they hold it a bit, play the clock. And they slow it up a bit. It's 13 on the shot clock. Now down to 10. Bridie being guarded by Ryan. Tough jumper is good. Nice shot by Bridie, 31-23. They still have five seconds. Maloney will try to beat the buzzer and the shot is almost, almost beat the buzzer. Good look by Maloney, but he couldn't hit. So Dwayne Bridey with the 11 points to lead the way in Queensboro at halftime leads Second half underway, Queensboro leading 
Tigers looking to push the leads into double digits. There's Birch and a crowd of Senators left his feet to make a pass. And timeout was called by Queensboro by Coach Amenjo as he saw Birch in trouble. See what Queensboro runs out of the timeout. They're down to 10 on the shot clock. It's Metellus inside. Low hook shot is no good and rebounded by McQueen. Senators down 31 23. There's Mike Ryan to McQueen. Low and a reach and foul is called. First foul on Metellus of the half, second of the game, I should say. First team foul of the half. Underneath Williams, it's another inbounds play heard in Queensboro and it's 31-25. Williams got free underneath. It's been about four or five inbounds plays that the Senators have run that have gotten them easy looks at the basket. Turner in a crowd, loose ball. And McQueen with the steal going the other way. Spin move and put it in off glass. Nice play by McQueen who has his first points of the game. Queensboro lead is down to four. 31-27. Turner couldn't put it in. Rebounded by Williams. Senators have come out strong in the second half. Here's Sturdivant. Here's Ryan. Moore for three. And it's no good. Rebounded by Sturdivant. And it's fouled underneath. And Sturdivant will go to the line for two. And that's three fouls on Metellus now. Shot is short. And Chris Brown goes in for Metellus. Sturt advance splits the free throws. It's 31 28. Here's Turner, Birch. Queensboro looking for their first points of the second half. Their lead has been whittled down to three. Bridie to Turner. Nice defense by Ulster and the shot is blocked. They are contesting every look. And Queensboro has not gotten a good shot at the basket in two and a half minutes. Sturt event. Ulster can tie on this possession. Here's Ryan to Moore. Moore had to go through his hands. Sturt event to Williams underneath, puts it in off glass. 31 30. Senators have scored the first seven points of the half. Defense chant coming from the, the Ulster bench. Turner doing a lot of dribbling. Here's Bridey, they're down to 10. Brown, nice defense, here's Bridey. 
That's no good. Birch, the rebound, but couldn't hit. That was a tricky rebound also. Somehow found its way to Birch, but he couldn't finish, and the Senators can take the lead. And Ryan hits a three-pointer. Senators lead 33-31 with 16.23 to go. Senators on a 10-0 run to begin the half. Queensboro ball out of the timeout. They trail 33-31. Now, Ulster coach Robert Mislowski actually gave his halftime speech in this gym, right in the corner of the gym. I don't know what he said, but it worked because this is a team possessed. The defense has been tremendous. They're on a 10-0 run. Here's Carter to Turner for the lead, and it's no good. Rebound found its way to Carter. They're down to 10 on the shot clock. Brown is fouled. That worked out for Queensboro because of the rebound, but Turner took a long three. First foul on Taryn Sturdivant. Brown, the first point of Queensboro for the, in the half after four minutes. Brown ties the game at 33, 15.57 to go. Wonder if Queensboro might be big now that they just scored in the second half, because if you get into a part where you start forcing shots instead of just running a backdoor play or something, or pick and roll and a block from behind. Williams thought he had to go look at the basket, but it was sent away. And then Birch has it taken away. Nice play by Deontay Moore. And more to Williams. Tough shot is no good. I think Brown touched it last. He did and Ulster will keep it. And there's a foul against Chris Brown. It's his first, team's third. Now it was sent away by Brown, but Ulster will keep it. McQueen inbounding, Birch guarding the inbounds. Long pass is to Ryan. McQueen cutting inside, McQueen to the basket, it's no good. Williams the rebound and the putback. Williams now in double digit scoring and the Senators lead 35-33. Is Turner, nice pass to Birch, and Birch banks in a three. Don't know if that's how he planned it, but Birch gives Queensboro a 36-35 lead. Here's Ryan in the corner, and he answers back. Mike Ryan with his second three of the half, it's 38-36, Carter the other way, it's blocked and saved in by Ryan. Birch got it back though. Brown to Turner. 
Back to Birch, another three. Couldn't hit that one. And that will stay with Queensboro. And Williams goes to the bench. Alfonso Knox goes in for the Senators. 14.27 to go. Here's Turner. Burge thought about the corner three. Carter takes the three instead, and it's good. Sanjay Carter with his first points of the game, and it's 39-38 Queensboro. Tigers and Senators going back and forth here in the second half. Knox got it to Moore. That's a tough jumper, it's no good, and rebounded by Turner. Almost went in, and Brown ahead of the pack. Lays it in, and it's 41-38, timeout Senators. Queensboro doing a nice job of answering back. A little five nothing run, forcing the Senators to take a timeout. 30 second timeout. Queensboro's last one, they came from behind in the second half at LaGuardia. They're down 54-50, then ended the game on an 11-3 run. Their first CUNY win of the year is Birch. And timeout Queensboro. Not what Ulster wanted after the timeout. Birch dove on the floor and Queensboro called timeout. It's the 32nd timeout. A little sloppy play by the Senators. Queensboro's three wins have been close this year. They beat Ulster by seven, Duchess by three, and LaGuardia by four. Ulster, as I said early, has had four losses by single digits. Their one win this year was against Columbia Green Community College. Here's Brown to the basket and puts it in. Chris Brown makes it 43-38. Seven points in a row for Queensboro. And they're really pressuring McQueen. And McQueen doesn't care and scores for Ulster. 43-40. Nice answer by McQueen. Carter to Brown. Brown to Birch. And the shot. I thought it was blocked by Knox, but they call him for a foul. And that's the third on Knox. First free throw is long. Birch misses both, rebounded by Knox. Knox still in with the three fouls. Be interesting to see if he picks up number four if they take him out. And a backcourt violation is called. Pass was a little behind Knox and he couldn't save it. And Cotto goes to the bench for Queensboro. Here's Carter to Turner. Brown back out, Carter for three. And that's an air ball. And Birch couldn't save it. Couldn't tell if the shot was tipped or not. 
fell far short of the basket. Ulster has the ball. Queensboro leads 43-40, 12.52 to go. Here's Sturdivant. Was doubled, nice pass to McQueen. Deflected out of bounds, and it goes to Queensboro. Sanders getting sloppy the last minute or so. His Turner stopped and drove, and traveling is called. I think Turner thought he was hit or somebody hit the ball. The start event. Handoff to Moore. Moore doubled and then throws it away. So some pressure from Queensboro forcing Senators turnovers. As Mike Ryan gets ready to go back in for the Senators. Brown outside Turner to Carter. Kick out Birch. Good defense by McQueen. Turner takes a tough three and it's good. Joseph Turner makes it 46-40. 12 minutes to go. Kick out Maloney. Inside Sturdivant. Loose ball and Birch saves it in but right to Maloney. And here's McQueen, nice pass to Knox, but couldn't finish, third event, the rebound. Maloney, shot rims out. Queensboro looking to extend a six point lead. Queensboro won a 10-2 run. 11 and a half minutes remain. As Turner lost it in the crowd of Senators, McQueen, Carter standing between him and the basket. McQueen goes in, knocks the rebound, couldn't hit. Senators missing some good looks. Birch, tough two is no good. This may have been a little quicker than Queensboro would have liked. Here's Brody Maloney. Sturdivant asking for it, now backing down Brown. Nice move by Sturdivant. Really nice move to get inside, it's 46-42. That was a smooth spin move by Sturdivant. Here's Turner, a straight on three. And it's no good. Nice rebound by Metellus. And then couldn't hit, got his own rebound again, loose ball. And there's a tie-up, but they already blew the whistle. It's gonna be a foul against Ulster. It's the second on Sturdivant. 10.28 remaining. Moore and Maloney go to the bench for the Senators. Here's Turner in the corner, guarded by McQueen. Here's Bridey. And a foul called against Chris Brown, pushing off. Brown was trying to get separation, he's called for a second foul. So that's number two on number 22. 10-18 remaining, Senators ball down by four. McQueen bounce pass to Sturdivant. Here's Mike Ryan being guarded by Bridie. McQueen, here's Williams going inside. Back out McQueen. They still have 14 seconds. A one-hand shot from about 12 feet away. And McQueen lost his footing. Queensboro will have the ball. Here's Carter, 940 remaining. Being guarded by Kaywood Alexander. 
We have his own really by Ulster. Bounce pass, sneaks through. It'll stay with Queensboro. Spibbon stress that goes in for Queensboro and he'll inbound. Gave it to Chris Brown and a nice shot right off the inbounds. Chris Brown, double digit scoring. Queensboro leads 48 42. 9 18 and counting remaining. Nice play, Williams with the dunk. A dozen points for Troy Williams. It's 48 44, Queensboro. Nine minutes to go. Senators very much in this one. They've had trouble pulling out the close games. They're hoping to change that today. The foul is called on the floor. First foul against Kaylid Alexander. Here's Bridie, a three-pointer is good. Dwayne Bridie from downtown. It's now 51-44. Nice shot from right in front of the Queensboro bench. There's Mike Ryan trying to answer back and does. Mike Ryan has hit three three-pointers this half. It's now 51-47. Every time Queensboro looks like they might start to pull away, Ulster answers back. Here's Bridie again. That one is no good and tipped out by Metellus. Eight minutes to go. Ulster down 51 47. Queensboro in a 2 3 zone. There's McQueen. Nice pass to Sturdivant. And a blocking foul is called. And Sturdivant goes to the line. And that's the fourth foul on Metellus. One more and he's done. First one is no good, and Justin Cotto will go in for Metellus. Interesting for Carlo Menjo when he will put Metellus back in if he does. Sturdivant misses both. Now Queensboro has a fast break developing. Turner right to the basket, but he couldn't put it in. McQueen has it for the Senators. Here's McQueen for three. And that's long, rebounded by Sturdivant who muscles his way inside, but he'll have to go to the line for two. And he's had his struggles from the line today. That's the first foul on Cotto. 7.33 remaining. And that's short. Sturdivant misses both. I wonder if Sturdivant keeps getting it down low if Queensboro would just start fouling him. Put the pressure on him to hit his free throws. Brighty misses a three. Queensboro taking a lot of jumpers. Here's Williams down low, and Sturdivant had to go through his hands. Here's Stressa. Queensboro up by four, 7.07 and counting remaining. Here's Bridie. 
Sresta being guarded by Mike Ryan. It's a pick and roll. Sresta to Turner for three. And that hit the shot clock. Queensboro just keeps launching these three pointers. I'd like to see them be a little more aggressive. It can matter at the end of the game. Queensboro has already fouled six times this half. And there's a nice steal. Here's Turner the other way. And good defense by Sturdivant. Queensboro will take it out on the side. A good job by Sturdivant to break up the layup. It's the Senators sending some subs. Here's Stressa, corner three, and it's good. They've been Stressa with his first points of the game. 54-47, 6.20 remaining. McQueen, here's Knox, and a foul is called against Brown. You say that's a big possession for Ulster. So if they miss and Queensboro comes back down. Holster's starting to, I don't want to say run out of time, but don't want to trade baskets now. That was the third foul on Chris Brown. Knox misses the first. Senators really struggling at the line. This could be a different game if they were knocking down their free throws. Knox misses them both. Here's Turner. Stressa. Nice pass. Turner. Deflected, Moore got the hand in and then Williams had it. Good defense by Ulster on that last possession and a nice pass and a nice basket. Nice everything, it's 54-49 as Knox finished. And timeout called by Queensboro. Carlo Menjo saw his guy dealing with a bit of pressure and called the timeout. Queensboro leads 5.40 to go, Queensboro ball, they lead by five. Bridey to Turner. They're just passing on the perimeter. And Turner launches a deep three and got his own rebound and then goes inside and hits. And it's 56-49. And here's some pressure by Queensboro. Maloney 
being guarded by Turner. And he gets it to Moore. And nice dribbling by Moore. There's McQueen for three. And it's good. Jeff McQueen makes it 56-52. Here's some pressure. McQueen gets it back and is fouled. So McQueen, who just hit a three-pointer, will go to the line for two. So foul is on Sanjay Carter, his third, team's eighth. Fifty-six, fifty-three. McQueen hits the first. McQueen looking to hit both. And couldn't. McQueen just splits the free throws. Queensboro still up by three. 4.45 to go. Ulster has only committed four fouls this half. Probably because Queensboro keeps taking jumpers, and that one is good. It's Turner for three. Now 59 53, four and a half minutes to go. And Maloney tried it behind the back pass, and it was taken away by Birch. Three on one. Righty, wave it off. Traveling is called. Coach Amenjo Young has got a dribble. Folster comes back. Remember that possession, a three on one, which could have given them an eight point lead. Instead, it's still six. Still a two possession game. 4.15 to go. Birch over pursued, knocks to Maloney, couldn't put it in, knocks, tips it in. 59-55. And that's tipped away. Carter slices and a foul is called. Sliced right through the defense. The last possession, the defense was thrown a little off because somebody over pursued. Just gotta keep everything in front of you. And Carter did a good job of dribbling out of pressure. Carter long on the first. Carter splits the free throws at 60-55. Under four minutes to play. There's more. Double, here's Williams inside. Tough shot is no good. Birch running the other way for Queensboro. Here's Bridie at deep three, and it's no good. Queensboro deciding it's still too early for them to slow it down. McQueen, cause man to leave his feet, but then missed. The tipping is no good. Tipped again. Williams is fouled. That's the third foul on Turner. In the foul trouble for Queensboro. Metellus has four. Turner, Brown, and Carter have three apiece. For the Senators, Moore and Knox both have three. Williams hits the first at 60-56. Williams makes both. It's big for a team that's been struggling this half from the free throw line. 60-57, here's a full court press. Carter. To Turner, they get across half court. And here's a loose ball and Ulster has it. The trap forces a turnover. There's Moore. And Moore shot is long. Nice rebound by Brown. 
Here's Brighty going inside. McQueen, a charge is called. Great job of picking up the charge with 2.49 to go. That's the first foul on Dwayne Brighty, but that's the 10th on Queensboro. And from here on out, Ulster will be shooting two free throws. Queensboro not even in a one and one yet. The Senators can tie the game here. And the charge is called. It's Maloney for pushing off. She always say charge, but I think throwing the elbow. 2.40 to go. Foul here in Queensboro will be shooting one and one. McQueen right up on Bridey. There's Carter to Birch for three, and the shot is blocked by Knox. 2.20 to go. Great block by Knox. Many times you see a three pointer blocked. There's more inside, left hand no good. Williams a rebound, and then it's pulled away by Birch. And the Senators were asking for a travel. Fast break chance, Turner blocking foul is called on Maloney with 2.02 to go. And Turner's still down. Now up and walking around. Full timeout is called by the Senators with 2.02 to go. Turner will be shooting two free throws. Timeout may give him a chance to recover, actually. But you can't blame Robert Mislowski for trying to set something up for his team. Turner short on the first. Big free throw, this would make it a two possession game. So a lot of time remaining, two minutes, two seconds. And Turner long on the second. It's rebounded by Maloney. Ulster can tie the game here. Moore, good defense. There's Williams to Maloney. Maloney gives it to McQueen. Brighty right up on him. Here's Williams being guarded by Brown. Tough shot is good. Jeroy Williams makes it 60-59 a steal. McQueen couldn't put it in. And a tie up. With 127 to go. And the possession arrow will keep it with Ulster. The Senators can take the lead. Queensboro up by one. Here's Williams to Maloney. Thought about taking a three. Here's Williams inside. Off glass, no good. Tipped. Loose ball. Brown has it for Queensboro. Here's Stressa. 
There's a trap, but Birch has it. Back to Stressa. Turner. One minute to go. Queensboro up 60-59. Maloney right up. He got the hand in. Down to 10 on the clock. Brighty, tough shot and a foul is called on Moore. With 47 and five, 10 seconds remaining. Four fouls on Deontay Moore. One more and he's done. Brighty calmly sinks the first. Hit 61-59. Makes both at 62-59. Steve Folster tries to tie it here. They could go for two and still have a lot of time to foul. A lot can still happen. Here's Knox. And it's taken away by Birch. And then throw it right back to Moore. Here's Knox. Outside Maloney for the tie. No good. Tip. Turner has it. Brighty ahead of the pack. And Brighty lays it in with 22 seconds to go. 64-59 Queensboro. Here's McQueen for three. No good. Loose ball. Queensboro has it. It was knocked away by the Senators. Timeout Ulster. 13 and 8, 10 seconds remaining. Maloney had a good look but couldn't tie it. And then the defense forgot about Bridie who weighed it in. Holster's probably gonna have to foul right away. Could try to go for the steal. Menjo telling his Tigers not to turn it over. Could basically wrap up the game with the free throw line. So here's Birch inbounding. Senators are in front of him. The other Tigers were at half court. And a turnover. Here's McQueen outside tipped and Queensboro steals it. And Moore gives a foul with six and three, 10 seconds remaining. And Moore will foul out. That was such an odd play. There were four Tigers were standing at half court. And it was handed to Birch, and then they tried to get free. So Deontay Moore fouls out. Bridey can ice the game here. It'll be a one and one. Makes the first. If he makes it, so it'll be a three possession game. And that's good. 66-59. That should just about do it with five seconds left. Alexander is going to throw up a three, and it's good. Alexander beats the buzzer, but it's too little too late. Queensboro with their first home victory of the year. They beat Ulster for the second time this season. 
66-62. Ulster tried to come back in the second half. Kept coming close, but couldn't come back all the way. And Queensboro survives with the 66-62 victory.